Hello guys, welcome back to more Fire Emblem Awakening. Hopefully that video didn't end on a weird note. Alright. So we are going to try and take down more bad guys. Yes, we are. Yay, silver bows are good. Okay. They should be safe over there. Yay, alright. Very good. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're good. Now you people may be wondering, why am I skipping this? I'm only doing it so this battle will go faster. I hope you do not mind. Because it's basically going to just be the same thing every turn anyways, so I figure... We'll just skip it so that way people don't have to suffer through the same animations 5,000 times. This works for you, doesn't it? Okay, yeah. I guess all we can go over here and attack this dude with the sword of righteousness. Oh man, so awesome. Okay. Yay! Oh no! Bad guys are coming! We are screwed! Not really. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, level up! Yay! I think Morgan's stats are all maxed out, so level ups are just happy music time, and not much stats go up, which is good, I suppose. Okay, uh, I'll go over here and kill that dude. And who else can I murder in cold blood? This dude will do. Doodle do. Doodle do. Yes, doodle do. Yeah, this game's a little bit weird because I can't really converse what has been going on with life because I'm busy trying to take down bad guys on a map. And it's pretty difficult. Among some cases. Alright, all the bad guys should be all done attacking me. So I shall send my heroes in there. To try to take down King of Valleydar. <laughs> All right. A lot of stuff's been happening. It's currently summer vacation time, and summer vacation time is almost up. Classes start in a month, and I am scared to death. Why am I scared to death? Because school is college now. And therefore, life is going to be rough. I'm gonna try and get this done by the time summer's over. No guarantees, though. Okay, switch. Let's watch Chrome have a badass speech, shall we? Urgh, fools. Destiny cannot be unraveled. Take that, you bean bad guy. All wrong. We'll get another sword. Yay, talisman. We did it. We have one. Why are you just going to your birthright? Allison, my daughter. Just die already. We did it. We did it, Allison. We alter our destiny. We we won. 
Who are you? Uh oh, that's the fell dragon, isn't it? You! Yes. You may have altered the course of history, but not its destination. What do you mean? <laughs> it is written that Krom died here at your hands. Or perhaps, to be more precise, mine. What? Who are you, really? I told you I'm Allison. The Allison that murdered you and become the fellow dragon Grima. When this Martha of yours decided to come back in time, I came with her. What? Another version of me? But how? Ah, yes. I can be so daft sometimes. It's really quite simple. I am you. Our only difference is the decisions we made. Those vivid dreams you have, those are my memories. We share these memories because we are let's shame we share the same heart, Grima's heart. No. The headaches, the voices. It was you Yes. Your recollection begins the day I entered this world. I intended for us to unite then, the first moment I found you. But your heart was still too weak to contain Grima's power. The shock of my attempt wiped your memories clean. Well, so that explains why I can't remember stuff. I knew if Lucina managed to rewrite history, Grima would never be resurrected, and I, in turn, would cease to exist. So I had to step in now and again to keep my future secured. Like when Valador was killed in his attempt to assassinate Emerin. But that's the past now. We have our future past to think of. All that remains is for you to become Grima as I did. Then you and I will become as one, and we can reclaim my power. Are you not yet the same? Yes. You were supposed to have choose godhood over your pathetic band of servants. But you will not claim the sacrifice lay at the dragon's table. I will claim it in your place. Oh shit, we're dead. What? <laughs> the bell dragon and I are one. And through my journey through time has diminished my power. The life force here shall renew me. Oh no, we're dead! What's happening? What is going on here? Oh no. What? What is this? Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh oh. Not the dragon? No, we're supposed to kill it! What, what's happening? Are we gonna die? Is this my destiny? To die at the hands of a giant gross dragon? No, what? Ema, it's all over. Oh no, we're screwed. Oh, come on. And I thought we were just going to end too. The terrible sides of it, gods, for once the legend spoke true. We can't face him. Not all in straight battle, he kill us all. Still. Only we still had the fire emblem. We could ask Naga for her power. Then we at least we have a chance. <gasps> the Valor I took the emblem! <sighs> and it was lost inside the dragon's table. I know. Hey. Wait, you mean this fire emblem? Oh my, I pulled it right out of my ass. The emblem, but how? I stole it from you once, remember? The least I can do is steal it back. Yay, we're not screwed. Allison, you sly cat. You never cease to amaze. Oh man, Chrome, do you know my identity as a cat? You're so smart. Probably put cat ears on my head. Eh, uh, never mind. I'm his little Neko, apparently. Quickly now, we must compete the awakening before Grima catches on. Ah. It's said that the first exile paid tribute to not get the side of the Mount Prism. Really? Do you know where exactly? Of course. Yes, there's an altar at the peak of the mountain. If my lord were to perform the awakening, it must be done there. Small hope's better than no hope at all. Hurry, everyone. Yay! Our next mission is upon us. Alright, so next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll be going to the Mount Prism. Meanwhile, Grima's 
unsettling presence slowly takes away our hope. But I know with our strength we shall forge on and win the day. See ya.